Hey guys, we are back with another Vancouver GM mode, and I was reading the comments, and you guys told me to, uh, well, basically, no brainer to play Hensick, and I, I agree. Uh, I was, I was, uh, wasn't really paying attention last episode when I uh, looked at Hensick, but uh, yeah, that offensive awareness and uh, the passing, that's really nice. So he's gonna play on the third line this year with Dano, and what we're gonna do. We're going to trade Domi and Merkley and Shinkarook all to the same team. So Domi, Merkley. I'm surprised about uh, Merkley's trade value, though. He could end up bring, being pretty good, although I think this is uh, going to be necessary for the future here. Uh, where's Shinkarook? There he is. Uh, Shinkarook and a second and a third to the Ottawa Senators for Kyle Turris. So he is a first line forward. Uh, that is quite the nice puck skills category there. <clears throat> He's 31 years old. He's got a three-year contract. So what that does is it gives us a first line center for two years uh, or well, for three years, you know what I mean, but it gives us a first line center for the two years that we need to uh, to grow Reed Hensick. And by Kyle Turris's last year of his contract, um, he should be 33 by then, and Reed Hensick should be ready for the first line. So that's why I'm thinking this is going to be the perfect deal for us. Uh, yeah, this is this is going to be a really good deal, and just get. Uh, Two no names here, and this should go through. It might be overextending a little bit, but you know what? it's for a first line center. And you know what? When he turns 33, or when we don't need him anymore, we could just flip him for someone else who's younger, or even for a draft pick or a defenseman or whatever. So, yeah, Domi, Markley, Shinkarook, a second and a third for essentially Kyle Turris. And it goes through. Very nice. So we have ourselves a first line center. And actually have ourselves an entire first line now <laughs> of legitimate first liners. Uh, Turris, Natushkin, Kane. That looks nice. Uh, Callahan, Vertanen, and Horvat are second line. Uh, Dano, Hensick, and not these guys. And we're going to call up Weg Leitner. Yeah, so... Yeah, Weg Leitner, Dano, and Hensick will be the third line. And then King, Shore, and Colburn will be the fourth line. And then defense, we have Zadorov and Lindholm. I don't know how they're not top two yet, neither of them. And then Klingberg, McCowan, and then Bogosian and Spiza. But you know what? I, I did mention that I wanted to try flipping uh, Zadorov to the second line. I think that's what we're going to do. So we're going to put uh, Klingberg with Lindholm. And that's going to be nice. That's going to be a nice combination there. Is McCallan a righty? Yeah, he is. So we're going to put him over here. And that's looking nice. And now we have Kyle Turris to put in center. And Wegleitner on the third line right wing. That's that's looking very nice. I mean, overall wise on the th on the third line, I mean, not too great, but potential wise, yes please. <laughs> uh we have Hensick, Wegleitner who we drafted in the 6th round. Who's only three and a half star potential, but he does have a pretty good defensive category. Um and then Marco Dano. So, yeah, that's looking pretty good. Uh, defense, we already set that. Power play. Kyle Turris. And you know what? Hold on. Let's see. Yeah. I'm going to move. Hold on. I want to put Hensick here. I want to see who better has the better face-offs. They'll probably Horvat. Yeah, Horvat has the better face-offs. And Hensick is a righty, so I'm going to leave him. Yeah, I'm going to leave him on the right wing for now. Hold on, Hor no, Horvat, go down, and then 
Uh, Terrace with Nchushkin. Penalty kill, that can stay the same. That can stay. 4-on-4. Four four. Terrace. Uh, extra attacker. Horvat and Shore, yep. Bobrovsky and Korolek. And Shootout. Instead of Callahan, I want Turris on there. Shooting first. Then Natushkin, Kane, Klingberg, Vertanen. That's nice. Alright. So we're looking a lot better now. And uh, I think we can start the season. Did we do scouting? Did we scout last video? Uh, yeah, we did. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yep, that's it. All right, so we can get this season started now. And hopefully we have a uh, solid season this year and make it back to the playoffs. So let's... Uh, do a quick sim here. Very nice. First uh, preseason game. Shore, King, Kane, and McCowan. Very nice. Off of uh, 41 shots. Uh, we have Anaheim coming up here. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, wait a minute. Do we have injuries on? We might. Hold on. Uh, Hensick and Klickberg scored. On Dubo. Yeah, we might still have injuries on from the playoffs. Yeah, we do. <laughs> Good thing I remembered again. Jeez. Uh, and then rotate goalies on. All right. Yeah. Good thing I remembered to do that there. I, uh, I I don't usually remember that quickly. And and, and we had already started the simulation too, so that uh, just shows you uh, <laughs> my memory here with all those uh, little details. So, uh, Calgary, two, three, nice game, nice game. Uh, Kane, Klingberg, Callahan, Bogosian, Vertanen with the empty net, so that was a good game there. Kyle Turris got an assist I saw very briefly. It's looking nice so far. Really hoping Kyle Turris can do some good stuff for us so that, uh, yeah, we can uh, we can grow. And uh, Vertanen, Nichushkin, Dano, Callahan, Vertanen, Kane. Very nice. And then uh, the San Jose Sharks finally answered back. Uh, you know, after a, a bad uh, first and third period there. But we won that game 6-4. Arizona, they're 4-1. Let's see, 1, 2, 3. Uh -huh, they, sh they shut us out. Nino Nita Rider, of course. All right, so that wasn't good, but uh, it's preseason, so. All right, Edmonton, they're all, oh, they're all four and one. Jesus, when are they ever gonna get good? Uh, oh, two one. We won that game two one. Callahan and McCowan scored. Hensick got an assist. So that's good. All right, let's get into the regular season now. Uh, continue. I think we're yeah we're well within the salary cap. I think we're uh, just four point something over the uh, over the cap, so we're pre we should be set or not over the cap, under the cap. Uh, so first get regular first regular season game, two three overtime, very nice. So uh, uh, Kyle Turris scored our first goal of the season, and then Callahan. Turris and Etushkin ended it in in, uh, in overtime on the power play. Very nice. Let's see. Did uh... all right. So Hensick didn't get an assist or a point, but that's fine. That's fine. He has a he has a long career ahead of him. Hopefully, <laughs> and hopefully uh, the second line power play will help out with that. Two, three. Dano and Zadorov, very nice. Uh, all right, still no points for Hensick. That's again, that's fine. He's got a while. 
Arizona coming up. Oh, man. But hey, I mean, we're 2 0, so can't complain. I mean, it is a team sport, so. 2 3. Uh, Shore, Dano, and Nachushkin. Very nice. Kyle, Kyle Turris is helping out, I, I would imagine, there. Uh, Hensick got his first assist on a goal by Barco Dano. So, uh, that's, that's nice. Good for, uh, good for him. And we're, but more importantly, we are 3-0 and to start the season. I'm liking it. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Uh, a couple of things I do like about uh, the NHL 16 GM mode, though, they uh, the prospects that you can get in the draft, uh, it's not always set as to what order they'll go in, or you know, like the top potential guys won't always go first. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting uh, little add-on there. There's our first loss, but it was an overtime loss, so we still get a point out of it. Um, and another thing, too, is I like how potential can change uh, from year to year, depending uh, how, how good of a year and how much ice time they get. Uh, that's uh, that's something new. And then, as well as the free agency, uh, I think even the free agency has been changed up a bit. So, one, two, three. <laughs> All right, there's our first regulation loss. So, Kane, McCowan, Callahan, Bertanen are the ones who scored for us. Hensick got another assist. Very nice. Uh, we'll just keep doing this up until uh, the scout appears. And then we'll do the uh, quick season simulation. Where we don't uh, go into the games. Alright. One, two, three. And we shut them out. Kyle Turris and uh, Val Nachushkin. Very nice win. We got Boston coming up. Hampus Lindholm has five assists. Kyle Turris leading with three goals. McCowan plus three. Looking good so far. Looking good. One, two, three. Uh, and Hansik gets his first goal. Very nice. That's what I was waiting for. And then Natushkin as well on the power play. Man, natushkin has been scoring all over on the power play. Yeah, I, I think like... I think at least three of his four goals so far this season have been on the power play. That's amazing. Uh, and I think this is where the scout appears. Right? Yes. All right. So, scout assignment. That's, uh, yeah. Yeah, we need the goaltender. Where are we scouting? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Russia. All right, they have the two first rounders. Uh, I'm not gonna check the stats. It's only seven games in, so let's go six weeks. One, two, three, four, five, six. December seventh. All right, so um, I think yeah, we should have a pretty solid run at the playoffs this year. I mean, we have pretty much everything we need. We have we have the elite goalie in Bobrovsky. We have the first all three first liners we have uh, a solid defensive core i'm not going to say we have the best defensive core cuz we did technically have a better defensive core in carolina but we do have a very solid defensive core here in vancouver nice 6 to 4 win against the rangers and then we have montreal coming up 5 7 and 0 oh, and we <laughs> we lose of course uh come on now boys don't uh don't make me make any line changes here Let's get going. San Jose, we better beat them. 3-9-2. and two. Oh my god. <laughs> it, was, it was a regulation loss, too. Come on now, boys. Oh my god. 7-3 to three versus Carolina. Oh, come on, boys. <laughs> I'm really hoping uh, the poise of Callahan's gonna kick in here sometime soon. Because... <laughs> uh, it's not looking good right now. I mean, it was early on, but uh, we started to go on a losing streak there. And that really hurt us, man. All right, good. We uh, got up back to 500, sort of. Uh, there you go.
Nine, eight, and one. Let's continue that, please. <laughs> there you go. All right, starting to get back on track. It seems like we're a very, very streaky team this year. And uh, but uh, hopefully we can uh, get our spot in the playoffs because uh, Hensick needs every game he can get. Although I think he is a depth forward technically, but so if we per se don't make the playoffs, would it be a good idea to send him down to the AHL uh, if the AHL team makes the playoffs so he can get more games played? I don't think so, actually. Because, yeah, I mean, I know morale isn't a uh, isn't a thing in this game, but I feel like that would make him go down a little bit after playing into the in the NHL all year. All right, December 1st. Oh, come on, boys. Yeah, we're 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 a streaky team. All right, good. Get out of that uh losing streak there. Let's get on a win streak now. Come on, let's go. There you go. 3-1. Uh we have two more days, one more day, one more game. Ottawa Senators, come on, beat them. Max Domi and Nick Merkley, there you go. Uh, goaltenders, Russia. Yeah, let's just keep going there. Why not? I mean, we don't really need anything else besides a goalie prospect. Uh, all right, yeah, let's check the stats. We are 28 games in at this point. And uh, I think I'll end the video off. After we check the stats here, it is getting, uh, we are cutting it pretty, uh, into 17 minutes now. So, uh, Nichushkin, Vertanen, uh, Hansik. Ooh, where's, to, uh, so, uh, Nich Hansik on the third line actually has more points than Turris on the first line. That's interesting. <sighs> He's going to be a stud, boys. <laughs> Reed Hansik. And then Jake Vertanen. 22 points. Where is uh, Evander Kane? My god. St step it up. You had a good you got a good year last year, but you're starting to s <laughs> you slowed down and you remember he only had 6 goals after uh, the All-Star break last year and he only has 6 goals in the first 28 games this year. So, I don't know, Kane is slowing down a bit. Hopefully uh, he can get back on track, especially with Kyle Turris. There with him on the first line. Uh, goals for per game, 18. That needs to go up a little bit. Goals against per game, 13. Could be higher, but that's okay, I guess. Power play, that's really good. Awesome. Hensick and Turris probably helping out there. Penalty kill could be a bit better, but that's okay. All right, so I think, I don't know. I, I want to see what we do up to the trade deadline, and then I'll make a decision based on what's happening. And hopefully, Kane could get back to uh, back to himself because, uh, yeah, he's not uh, really doing much right now. So I will leave it off here, and I will see you guys in the next one.